James, you got the job done there today, uh, but you struggled at a large stage, long game, really give you a great fight. Yeah, sure. Listen, what was I know there's six in the end, but sure there was only two, one in it, maybe with five or six minutes to go. And just, you know, they were pushing forward, pushing forward, and we just got him on the break for the goal. But uh, listen, it was, we know how we, we, we can play lovely and pretty and get the ball up. And today was a bit of a dog fight, you know, there, there were many, plenty of men behind the ball. But listen, we, we found a way, and that's the most important thing. And this team has been finding a way for five or six years now, and they're just, I just can't say enough about them. Like, you know, we're into a semi final now, rank outsiders. But listen, we'll give it a rattle and see how we get on, you know. Yeah. What's, what's it like playing against that sort of defensive structure that Longueen had? They were very well organised, weren't they? Uh, they were very well organised, they were, yeah. It was uh, very frustrating. The kind of game we like to play is all out, kind of run off the shoulder or give the ball in and support the men. But it was very, very difficult to do that. And all credit to Clongeen, they did like, make life very difficult for us. But thankfully, we managed to break it down a few occasions and got the win over, thankfully. And you have to be thankful to your goalkeeper there in the first half. He made some two or three fantastic saves. Yeah, we got caught, you see. We were leaving too much of a gap in full. We knew what was going to happen and still... You know, there was so much. They were pushing so far up to left an awful space. So yeah, they should hit the post and you know, and a couple of good saves. I was you know, brilliant saves. Like, um, but sure, that's why he's there for. Isn't it? Yeah, that's it. That's the goalkeeper does his yeah, job. Yeah, you know, yeah. but I suppose as well, uh, looking at it from from the outside there, like you finished both halves were kind of strong. I thought. Yeah, well, that's something that we've always kind of, particularly this year, what we've aimed to do is to. Obviously, you want to start well, but whatever about starting, I mean, you can't. You don't know what to expect from another team. Sometimes how well they make come out of the traps, but whatever about not starting well if you don't manage it, finish strong. At least be finishing the second half or finishing the first half strong and finish the game. Win the last ten minutes if you can at all, and whatever the score is, then you at least dream with a shout like whether you're behind or ahead. Either push on and win it by more, or at least bring it back to within winning distance if you are behind. So yeah, no, it is. It is a trait, and fair like it's a testament to the, the hard work we put in in the winter. Like the lads were there since January, putting in really hard, putting in hard running there. So it's paying off thankfully in the end of the, end of the halves and end of games yeah, unfortunately it looks like you've lost a, a player to injuries yeah, so we don't know how bad but. It, it doesn't look great now it was a bad tackle but you're, listen I'm sure he didn't mean for that to happen but uh, yeah Jesus I haven't, I haven't been interested in him yet but you know, Donald, this, this Donald's first year after cementing his place in the team he's, he's you know, kind of a super athlete you know um, I hope to God he's not too bad and if he is you know, if we, whatever needs to be done we'll get it sorted for him but you know, that's unfortunate. We lost. We've lost players like Patter was gone to Australia after the first couple of matches. Are gone travelling, and sure, Danny's gone a few years ago. And Tyg has gone. You know, we're probably five or six down from the time we we're in Grove Park. You know, and lads have come in. But again today, like we used twenty, and we've been driving that all year. Like just lads left off. There's no one been dropped. Like they're just not starting on a particular day, and they're coming on. Five lads came on again today and do a job. And that's that's really the most satisfying thing. And no one is cribbing or crying or bawling. You know, you know, everyone's buying into it. And I think that's really that's the thing that's happening. You know, it's a panel effort and. You know, it's, it's 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 good times, like you know. Yeah, and I think you know from 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 looking from side, you got the job done there today, lads. It was a tough game, but you got the job done. Exactly, that's all that matters in the end of the day. I mean, as James said, you can play the loveliest football. I mean, we, in the first game against Horswood right here, start of championship, we played possibly the best football of our lives and didn't get the job done. Whereas like today, we probably weren't at our best, but got the job done. And at the end of the day, that's what matters. So I mean, shows that like this team has matured an awful lot. That like we can win either way, either playing well or playing poorly. We, we can manage to grind out a win no matter what, which is great, great thing to have in a team. Yeah. I wish you the best looks in the semi-final lads because your enthusiasm there today you really saw it out when I thought when the chips were down well done thanks very much no. Cheers, no, thanks very much cheers, thanks very much. cheers. cheers that.